Oh, man. Nah, jeez. Oh, nah. I don't know if I... Yeah. Oh, hi. Hey. Hey. It's me. It's Paul Carpenter. And this is number 25 of 365. And, uh... <clears throat> I start in five. Oh, this one's called, uh... Action. Here we go. Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. I hope that you're doing well, and I hope that wherever you are is doing good for you. It is me, it is Paul Carpenter, and I hope that you are, uh, I did that part already. Anyways, this is number 25 of 365, and it's called Action. Now, just recently, just recently, I, uh, posted um, this whole thing. Oh, good morning, Elizabeth. Good morning. And, oh, good morning, Cassie. Hi. Thank you guys for coming in. Um, so, uh, let me, I want to put this, so it's not moving anymore. I'm trying to hold it, but it's not doing its thing today. Hold on. Oh, maybe I can do this. <laughs> silly. So silly. Sometimes. All right. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's not moving around anymore. All right. So, I, um. I recently did this thing where it was called Just Do It. It was one of my videos in 365, and it says, hey, man, just get out there and go do something, right? And there was another one I did, which was like, you have to know what you want to do, right? This is like the ideas behind Think and Grow Rich. Definiteness of purpose is the first chapter, and that is the idea that you exactly know what you want. But even, oh, right? That's the kicker. So you can... Huh. I'm going to go through the entire thing, right? Because on some level, I don't, I don't know what happened, by the way. The, the, the Wi-Fi went out. So. All right. So you haven't really decided upon what you're going to do. Does that make sense? So if, if what I'm trying to say there is all you've decided so far is like, whether or not you're going to be a good person. That's your choice. Like you immediately, that's your go. So that was your intention. That is your definiteness of purpose. It's your intention. Where are you coming from? Where are you go? Where are you going to with the energy that you're coming with? Right? That makes sense, right? Simple. So even if you think about the book, you need to go read the book, Think and Go Rich. But the point is that for the first nine chapters, basically, there's absolutely no real creation of the complete ideology or the build of what you're doing. The first part of it is like just the foundation. It's like the most important part, which is why, you know, there's nine chapters on it, basically, or eight, if you will. And then 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, right? six, six chapters on top that make it four. Anyways, eight plus, forget it. Anyways, the point I'm trying to get is that, that, that what you're really creating at this point is the movement towards the actual thing. So everything we've created so far has been the map. Everything that you've done so far in your life has been a map of places where you should not go, of places where you can go, of places where you totally should work towards, right? Because each one of those things is a different thing that, that, that in itself, if you would have maybe had a, uh, let's say, uh, a religion that would have given you rules as to which way to go, you might have not made the mistakes that you made, or if you would have done this, or if you would have done that, but you didn't do that. You're here where you are now, perfectly the way you're supposed to be, beautifully the way you're supposed to be. And so from this point, we start to move forward into whatever it is next. Because it doesn't matter what was, right? What matters is what is going to be. But you can't be the thing that you want to be until you start making that decision. And that's today. Today, I ask you, my friends, if you've been thinking about something in your life, if you've been doing something where you were creating or it didn't work out, I don't know, whatever the thing is, right? But you're now at this place where you're building the foundation again. You're re-recreating. -re 
what you want to call that. But you're, you're, you're starting over. And in that starting over, and it doesn't matter where you're at, right? It could be something that you already do. Maybe it's like, say, uh, magic for me, or I don't know. And I, I'm like, I'm not going to really give up on magic. I'm just kind of starting over. Kind of going in a different direction, but doing the same thing. I've already made, I've already made my, my get up and go part, right? That was, <laughs> so now we're not talking about the get up and go. Now we're talking about the actual get up and do, maybe. But now we're not just doing haphazardly anymore. We're going in with a map. And that map gives us a, a definitive guide or a semi guide on what we're seeing in front of us. Possibly, maybe that. So what I'm trying to get at is that there's something out there that you want to do. It's I, Everybody wants to do something. We all want to do something. We all want to share something. So if that's the case, then whatever that thing is, and I've said this before, and this was in the get up and go part, whatever it is, I don't care if you're good at it. I don't care if you suck at it. I don't care. It doesn't matter. I just want you to go do it. Find a class. Find a, a one of those like, you know, people that do it already and then they have little classes and like 10, 20, 30 bucks to go to the class and go do it. Spend the $20 or the $30 to go that thing, whatever that thing is. I want to be an artist. I want to learn how to play piano. I want to uh, be a neurosurgeon. Go hang out with some neurosurgeons, man. I'm not even joking. Find a group of neurosurgeons in your city, because I'm sure there's some neurosurgeons around, and you can talk to them and be like, yo, let's go out to dinner and lunch, and I'll buy your dinner and lunch just so I can talk to you about neurosurgery, because I've always wanted to know about neurosurgery. That's got to be cool. I don't know. Stuff like that. That's what all I'm trying to say is that once you are getting up, once you've gotten up and going, if you're just going for no reason, then you're not getting anything. Get it? But if you're going, it, it's like it's like a, a car, like spinning, like in an oil. It's not going anywhere because there's no traction. So sometimes, in a situation like that, it's because you can't spin the wheels quickly. You just have to really creep at first so that you can get past the oil and onto some new road. Or... <laughs> Get some cat litter and throw it underneath the tires. Start a fire. I don't know if that's what's going to happen if you mix oil and cat litter. I don't think it actually starts fires, but you understood what I was trying to say. You know, the friction and then... Anyways, listen. I hope that you can go out into the world and do something nice for somebody else today. If you can't, do something nice for yourself because it does start with you. It really does. And number two, number two is don't get caught up in all the crazy stuff that's all in this world, the, the thing and the politics and the thing and the money and the... All that stuff, dude, listen. Let's just take a second here for this one on number two because I don't talk about number two very often. Kids. Oh, kids. <laughs> <laughs> good morning, Chrissy. Uh, good morning to everybody who's here. Hey, Zach. I think that Zach and oh, Brandon Margolis is here. I love you. I love you all. Thank you so much for watching. Um, so um, number two is this idea that, you know, getting caught up. But I want to I want to get really deep into it for a second. OK, like I've been saying this thing lately in life, which is like when I kiss someone, I kiss, but I don't kiss. I love, but I don't love. I eat, but I don't eat. I breathe, but I don't breathe. You know, so what do I mean by that? Because a lot of people get confused by that. And it's like, it's about being in the moment as deeply as you can be in a moment without forcing yourself to be attached to the moment fully. I don't know if that's wrong or right, but it's supposed to be this idea in which I'm dancing with life. It's like boxing or dancing or painting or, or something in which you're maybe, maybe not painting something where you're doing something with someone else. And there's this dance that happens naturally, you know, the idea, right? And so it's almost like a Tai Chi. Like a Tai Chi of life that you're doing with your partner in which you're mirroring your partner and yet 
so the idea is that you can't really be fully in the kiss because what happens if they stop the kiss then you have to stop the kiss and then it's this beautiful moment of this kind of flow that happens and so this is what i mean and i've tried to explain it like when you do this you do it in a sense where and imagine that every meal that you have is your first meal and that each thing that you eat the first thing Hmm. You know what I mean? Really get into it. Really get into the world of that thing that you're doing. And yet as you're doing it, remember to not be so caught up by it that it becomes your everything. And also don't let go of it all so much that you have nothing. So again, it's a dance. It's not, it's, 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 it's this thing that when you do it, this is what I call the faith-based life. If, to, to, to really knock it out, this is what it is to me. It's the same thing as when I'm doing these in the morning, right? I literally take a moment sometimes when I have no idea what I'm going to say, and I just take a deep breath, and I center myself, and I ask for the universe. I know this is going to sound silly, but I ask for the universe to literally plug me in. And so that whatever comes out, somehow affects, somehow touches. That is my intention. That is my go, right? And my decision ends up becoming whatever word or whatever sentence I use. That's my go and that's my thing, my decision. And then I just go with the decision and I just vomit it out. Whatever it is, it becomes. Sometimes it's really good Sometimes it's confused as hell. Sometimes it's depressed. But it's never not real. It's never not completely me. As best as I can give it to you, the crazy thoughts that are going on in the head. It's never not that. You know what I mean? So, Elizabeth says, each moment is a little bit of focused movement and appreciation of the potential and outcome. Ha, huh, I like this. This is good. I like this. Yeah. Basically, yeah. You're, 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 you know, yeah. You're in, but you're not in. You're out, but you're not out. You want to be, but you don't want to be. You just want to allow it to happen. Hmm? Without, because here's the thing. I believe, and I could be wrong here, but I truly believe that the more that you attach yourself to things, the more you disconnect from being in the flow of things. Does that make sense? Does that make any sense whatsoever? It's like if you're holding on to stuff and you have this mentality of, I worked for it, it's mine, don't you understand the amount of time and energy I put into this? It's like, whoa, really? <laughs> There's no such thing as time. There's no such thing as energy. There's only the such thing as the intention that you're placing behind the thing that you do. All the actions will be... Now you try to make the best actions you can. I'm not saying just go willy-nilly with your actions. You know, flowing it around everywhere. No, you don't do that either. You know, you put on an oilcloth. So, so the point here is that... You really... To, to flow... The flow is very simple when you allow it to be. It's like taking a breath when you're not thinking about taking a breath or your heartbeat beating or your liver working or any of the parts of your body that are going nonstop 24 hours a day with or without you. It's flow. It knows what it's doing. Like the flower outside knows to grow and go towards the sun and the cow knows to go and eat some grass. It's... It's flow. And the more that you can let go of your wants, and that's not saying don't go after things. It's just saying don't go after things so much that you screw yourself so hard that you're not paying attention to enjoying the game. It is a game. The game of life. You only get one, not three, not three lives, but one life. And in this one life, you do your best to be your best. And... Once again, if you get caught up in the thoughts, then that's all you're going to do is get caught up in the thoughts. Last version of that thing, same thing as this. 
I believe that your mind is like a white room, completely empty with nothing in it. And what you do by forcing a thought on yourself, ruminating upon a thought, is when you have taken like a Sharpie marker and you've gone somewhere in that room and nobody knows it's there, just you, and you go and you put a big black mark on the wall. Now if anybody, and I'm talking about anybody in the world were to enter that white room and close the door and you've never said anything to them about that dot, that's the first place they're gonna look. And it's the first place your mind looks whenever you think of anything for too long, for too much all over and over and over. And what happens? That black dot becomes a black hole. And that black hole becomes these negative thoughts of what could be this beautiful thing behind you. A white room of amazing possibilities. And in those possibilities is anything you want. It's your imagination, full form, right in front of you. So stop worrying about your bills. Just for a moment, I'm not saying don't freaking let go of everything. Once again, don't. Blah, 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 blah. It's a dance. Just for the moment, let go of your bills, let go of your stress, let go of this, let go of that, and give it to the universe. And tell the universe, you know what, bro? I'm done. I need you to take care of this for me, okay? Even if it's for like 3.2.1 seconds, it's on you. Thanks. <laughs> and number three. Number three is I hope that you can uh, like, share, and subscribe these videos. Send this out to somebody who might want to see it. I have a Patreon. I have a PayPal. I have a... Oh, oh have you checked out my P-Funky store? I'm selling these really cool necklaces now. It's the ones with the little I love you things. It's really cool. 25 bucks a piece. Send this to your door. I get it there within like three days. So if you want to buy something from me to support my life, I don't know, that way you get something, I get something, and these videos are just an extra added bonus of happiness. Yay! <laughs> uh, link in the description down below and stuff like that. Um, listen, I just wanted to tell you. Wait, wait, hold on. Yeah, wait, hey, hey, hey. Yeah, yeah, you. Yeah, you. Just wanted to tell you, I love you. I do. I do love you. And I just wanted to say thank you. And I also wanted to say. I love you all so much. I'll see you all on the other side.